back, 950 Lounge, live Saturday morning with a BCW takeover here at 950 Lounge. We thank everybody for joining. Hello. What I want to do, obviously, we, Peter be back a little later, but now we have the guy who's actually started BCW. And, and if you've been watching 950 Lounge for a while, he was here a while back in the, the clothing game, doing some spoken words, some music. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 950 Lounge under his title, Mike Mizzle. Oh. The check man. Uh -oh. And the lovely, talented um, Miss Faye Elise. Welcome to the show, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Love the lady in the house. Uh -oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Check, check, That's check, right. check, check, Faye, check, you check, must, check. You must have already yeah. rubbed off on her positive because she normally don't like women that come here. Um, <laughs> Wait, stop, because you're going to stop doing this because I'm branding. I'm branding a new down. look. You got to stop doing this. Oh, what happened? You gotta, I'm branding a new look. You got to stop doing this. Really? I like allfemales.com when you have substance. All right. That's Ooh, it. Well, yeah. I, and you that like just pancakes. knocked about 75% of our guests. <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't I do not do the Instagram booty models anymore. Sorry. Ladies, I didn't say that. Don't, don't just, All right. Don't All just right. friend me. I didn't say that. There's <laughs> only one booty in here. There's only one booty, and there she goes right there. Now, speaking of booty, um, let me start with Faye then. Um, now, um, <laughs> yeah. I'm so dishes. Of course. See what I do. See what I do. Love that wrestling move, yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. again, talk about the wrestling game a little bit. You, you, you know, again, you're a beautiful woman. Um, um, and, and, you know, as Trump would say, he's you know in nice places. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, but talk about again. I mean, I, some of the the things that women go through in Russia. And obviously, we had Pete on. I'm gonna talk to Mike in a minute. You know, it's always been a male dominated sport. But the female aspect of wrestling, it's you know from the majors, for most of our audience, from the majors, it's it kind of gets lost either between real wrestling or sex appeal. What's your thoughts on the wrestling game now for females? Well, thankfully, wrestling has yeah, changed you know, nice for females. Mm -hmm. There has been a revolution, mm -hmm. women's revolution, where they're not looking at they're not looking at the the up and the below and right. the face. You still need that in wrestling, especially with a guy's attention. Yes, span. you do. <laughs> Dirty old man. But Whatever. There's no more of the bra and panty matches. There's no more of the pudding matches. Oh, okay. There's no more of the whipped cream and the the pillow fights. Right. Like we're coming in here and we're working. Right. Like I train with guys on a regular, right. so I could take any female. Mm. Now when I I yeah. take yeah. my job seriously here at Nafi Land, because I'm the only real journalist Whatever. on the staff. Whatever. But I did do the research on you, and yes, I, I I do see that you have you have some great moves. You've wrestled men. You have a signature move. Would you like to mention that signature move? You want to practice on somebody? In here? Uh, sure. You want you want to want me to? Oh no! Wait, hold on. <laughs> Just wait. remember that if you do that, Faye, you he might be at your doorstep after the yeah. show tonight because you want to. Wait, you hold on with that oh, move. Oh, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and let me go to Mike. Mike, man, again, you know, brother, I've known you for a minute now, and you never cease to amaze me on your reinvention of what you do and the, and the things you put together. Talk about how you got started with BCW. Oh, man, it, it's a funny way we got started with BCW. You know my right hand man, Flexo, my comment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, Flex and General Romero were having a conversation, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm home just working on some stuff, and it's about 3.30 in the morning. Right. My phone rings. And I always tell my team, like, I can't use every idea, but pitch them to me anyway, because all we really need is that one mm -hmm. to take us to the next level. Mm -hmm. So it's about 3.30 in the morning, I get the call, and Flex is like, yo, how would you feel about starting a wrestling company? Mm. I laugh, I'm like, yo, it's 3.30 in the morning, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I had a dream of he's, he's a suplex. Um, he's like, listen, how does this sound to you? Mm -hmm. Three combination wrestling. Wow. I'm like, yo, Flex, what is three dollars? I'm like, three combination wrestling. He's like, yeah, BCW, BCW. And I jumped up. I'm like, oh, snap, BCW, that works. I'm like, when do you want to do the first show? Uh -huh. And he started pulling out dates. And I'm like, all right, what do we need to do mm. to put it together? He's like, well, we got to find a booker. We got to find a location. And then luckily, General Romero, who we meet shortly, yes. was very instrumental in helping put things together. And wow. And just started building mm. a team. And from the influence that I have in the music and the comedy and the poetry, Everyone just came together. So, you know, on our first show, we came out the gate averaging 200 people. Mm. You know, and that was because of all the uh, other roles that I had coming right. in. Right, right. You know, and now it's just become a beast. You know, mm. uh, we did our first show March 13th. Our next show is December, uh, October 16th. And after that, we're going to go straight into December 16th. So wow. In one year, I've done about six shows, and mm. my average has been about 200. And with the things that we got going on, going on now, I might be looking to double that. We, we talked offline a couple of days ago, and you mentioned how in a very short time you've kind of become almost the authority. And, and again, you bring in a, 
excitement in the building. We'll meet some of the other wrestlers. We see the phase on the staff. Now we met Pete. But there's a buzz uh, that mm-hmm. you built in a very short time. Mm-hmm. Um, talk about how you kind of made that happen. Obviously, again, you're a family man. You have a lot of other responsibilities. And to be able to now to flip that into this, yeah. you know, it just doesn't happen for everybody. So let's talk no, about no. how you, you made the special source work. Uh, the, the, the biggest thing is that I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. And, and my thing is I never shut anybody down. If right. you approach me about an idea, an opportunity, an investment, I'm like, you know what, let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Let's be cool. We can't use them all, but when I started talking to these guys and I saw the passion that they had about this person, even some of the ladies, they would call me up and say, look, I'm willing to do this show. I'm willing to do your show. I know you guys are just starting out, but I like the way you do business. Like one thing about me, all my guys will tell you when they come to the wrestling show, as soon as you enter that door, on the day of my show, mm-hmm. payroll's already done. I'm not one of those promoters that you have to chase around to get money. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't have to chase me. As a matter of fact, you don't have to me. Mm-hmm. Go up front. You see my young lady at the front. She has the envelopes already set. You sign a paper. You get paid after you've done your match. Oh. Right? So we, we keep mm-hmm. things rolling. You know, people are very confident about doing BCW, and I think that's what sets me apart from everybody else. Like, there's no games. You know me, Kev. You know me for a minute. Mm-hmm. I'm a straightforward kind of guy. Now, do you... um? I don't mean cut you off. You do yeah, mean to cut him yeah, off. I did. <laughs> I did. Do you ever um you ever get involved in the wrestling? Like you come up there like, you know, Freddie Glassy or, you know, Vince McMahon, you know. <laughs> nah, I'm more I'm more of a behind the scenes. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, shut up, Ed. I was checking, man. I know we live. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, Gene? Let's, 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 do a, let's do a fight right now, man. Go ahead. Yeah. Go no. ahead, Mizzle. <laughs> no, me, I, I, I'm not looking to get into the ring. I oh. mean, at least not yet. Some of the guys have said, you uh-huh. know what, you got to come in, you got to take a bump. And that may happen down the line, but right now, I'm looking at it from the business aspect. Mess up somebody's money, and yeah. you, you're, you'll be involved real well, quick. Well, you know what I think? I know what I think. And again, I mean, you know, you're the wrestling guy, but, you know, I'm in marketing, so I write scripts. I think we should have Faye and Rodeo fight in your December production. And watch him get beat up. I'm down. Yeah, I know oh, My no. money's on Faye. Wow. The loud radio host. <laughs> Yo, I- to help the cause. I'll do anything to help the cause. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you something, Kev. The, the greatest thing about owning your own product is that we can make things like that happen. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we can we can talk about that. I mean, the way BCW is going, we want to bring people matches that have never been done before. We want to bring them new things, things that people say, wow, I haven't seen that guy on my show or in New York, mm-hmm. New York show in a few years. Right. Like, we have a special guest coming to October 28th, and that's going to be Human Tornado. Mm. And ever since I booked Human Tornado, my phone has not stopped ringing. And everybody's like, how did you get Human Tornado? Like, he hasn't done New York in so long. Mm -hmm. And everybody's like, to have him on the show is is wonderful. It's tremendous. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. I go out. I do my research. Like, every time one of the guys brings somebody to me, I'm like, what's his name? Let me look him up. So I look up his matches. I spend hours just doing my research on people. And then... I make a decision on who would be the best person to bring in to get the crowd pumped, to get the brakes right. full. So that's what I do. Yeah, I got a question for you, Mike. Now, the thing I want to know is when you bring in the people on, like mm-hmm. as the, the next stars and everything else you have, your company, do you have a way that they already come with their names, or do you have to find a name for them? How do you do that? It, it all depends on the wrestler, right? Um, it, it depends on what storyline we're building with them, who I think we're look aesthetically pleasing up against that wrestler. You know, just like how the girls are the eye candy for the guys, mm-hmm. but you got to remember, the guys are also the eye candy for the girls. Like, we have guys on the show like uh, Aesthetic Nails, Maxwell Jacob Feinstein, Sebastian Cage, and as soon as they come out, it's a different sound in the crowd. Like, when some of the wrestlers come out, you hear all the guys stand up and cheer, but then when these particular guys come out, you hear the ladies. You know, I had one wrestler on the show, when he came out, a girl was sitting right next to me. And she's like, oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, this guy's coming. Oh, coming out. Yeah, what, what was she watching, a pro now? I know, you probably said, I'm already here, baby. You know, I'm already here, a certain time, you know. I'm a Talking about somebody I'm coming. It's a Saturday yeah. morning, Mike. You know? <laughs> kids are listening. It's a family it's, show. It's different. Like, yeah. as a promoter, I sit in the back, and I watch the reaction of the crowd. I watch who's getting the biggest pops and stuff like that. And then I go out and I do the research, and I say, you know what? This guy looks good. They like him for this and that. Who else can 
like match him move for move who can push him to the next level because that's my whole thing like mm-hmm. every wrestler that i bring on my show from a business standpoint i look at them as an investment right okay. i want to make sure not only are you wrestling but you understand that as a wrestler you're a business mm-hmm. and if you don't take the time to become a business and invest in yourself you may not get as high as you want to get so that's yeah. what i want to teach the wrestling Right. Same thing with the wrestling aspect, and I'm looking at that, and I'm learning every day. So that's why BCW is just so exciting to me. All right, enough about you, because you didn't bring me no shirt. <laughs> Faye, can yeah. I get a question? <laughs> yeah. What um, what do, what do your family think of you as being a pro wrestler? I'm not going to lie. When I first started, I didn't tell them, <laughs> only because of the judgment, because um. I have my bachelor's. I have my mm. master's. Oh, it's not okay. something that I can just go to them and be like, oh, um, by the way, I'm not using any of those degrees. No, so like you, so <laughs> we, we, we can say while, she, while she's kicking their, kicking their ass, she can also give them their you know, bio about their bodies. Uh, what I'm going to break right now is, you know, <laughs> your fibula. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Real. But I recently told them, uh, mm. I want to say, uh, I started training with. Um, a school called Ring of Honor Wrestling, mm-hmm. which is uh, one of the top three promotions mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. in the country. Oh, okay. Matter of fact, WWE steals all of our wrestlers. Yeah, I said it. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> mm-hmm. But and they do they go on and do great things. I started training with them, and uh, my first match I had was against a lady who was known all around the country as ODB. And that she, is she don't sound too appealing to me. <laughs> 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 oh, but she oh she yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. She didn't wash up, right? And yeah. that ended up on national TV. Oh, wow. okay. So I had to tell them something. Yeah. Because right. oh yeah, by the way, um mom, um cousins, um aunties, uh I know you guys watch the CW channel or I know you guys Somebody would have saw it on social media. <laughs> Not only that, they saw it on TV and they uh, tagged me to it. Oh, I didn't even see wow. it. Mm-hmm. My first match, I was in it, but I didn't see it. Mm-hmm. And they tagged me, like, oh, oh, my God, my cousin, oh, my God, my niece, I'm so proud of you. Why didn't you tell us? And I was just like, uh, well, the next it, question. That tends it's, to kinda, oh, it's open now. So, yes, I chased my dream. There's goals and there's dreams. Mm-hmm. A goal you can ap- accomplish quickly as long as you got the mindset to do it. I had a dream. Not to sound like MLK, but yes, I had a dream <laughs> that I turned into a goal. Mm. Mm. So that was my goal to become a professional wrestler. And that's what I'm doing. With your weight? God, <laughs> don't let the nah. people, would you let them speak? It's, it's so much <laughs> I have. Um, <laughs> Sapphire, I gotta speak. No, it's, it's all good. Um, I, I like to tackle a lot of the, the in-between stuff that people don't hit on a lot. So, no, we're not wrestling is a male-dominant sport. And although, you know, things are turning to females are starting to get looked at more and taken seriously more, have you ever faced any adversities being a woman and, and you know, now, you know, being a face and being an African-American woman and, and doing this, what adversities have you faced and what challenges are you facing still I and face that every single day for the simple fact that I am a woman, I am an African American woman, and I am a plus size woman, and I earn that proudly. Yeah, hey, Mike, look at Mike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's like I got that job. You know, you better be careful. You can suit now. Um. A lot of people that come into the, a lot of women that have came into the business that have been plus size have been seen as monsters, have been seen as beasts. Mm-hmm. I'm not that person. I'm sexy. I have sex appeal. You're going to love my curves. And I, that's what <laughs> <laughs> that's what the guys love about watching me wrestle. I earn respect from the women because I'm confident within myself. And I can work with the best of them. If you want to give me some type of move, but you feel like I'm too big to do it, I will surprise you. Like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that, but just know that. I'm giving you something harder because at the end of the day, I am a big woman. So there are certain things that you cannot do to me. Yeah, I'll sit on you. Uh huh. Yeah, I can do that. But I also know how to do a flip on you. We already saw that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But I know how to do a flip on you. I'm Mm -hmm. learning how to do a moonsault. You never seen a big woman do a moonsault. Rock bottom. 
I mean, that's a simple move. Anybody can do that. <laughs> <laughs> There's certain moves. I'm getting on the. T I'm doing moves off the top rope. You don't see big women doing that because mm -hmm. I'm confident within myself. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, my goal is to win every match. Right. So I have to be unique mm -hmm. and not be that typical big female where they're running to you doing a clothesline, running to you giving you a boot running and that's to it you and, yeah. and giving you like right. a, a hip check or something. I'm a mm. lot more, I'm different. Now yeah. that you said unique, is it any wrestler that you really love that you almost see your tellering behind? Because there's always someone or in, in anything that we do that we mock just a little bit. You know, whether it's singing, wrestling, oh, I like this wrestler, and you kind of tell a little bit. And, and create your own, but you had a wrestler that you – you kind of mocked a little bit. The wrestler I actually mocked, and a lot of people may be surprised, I grew up watching ECW, and I watched RVD. I love oh. everything he did, and those are the moves that I do. <laughs> I do. He does a rolling thunder. I do I do the same move, and I call it the chocolate thunder, and it Ooh. gets over. <laughs> if that don't get you the bad, if that don't get you the bad intention, I don't know what would. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say Harlem Heat because it's been a Rooney. Oh you know? no! <laughs> you know, you put your legs up in the air and it's spin, yeah. Well, I but, think it's awesome, and it's nice to see you know other females, and and I think the independent wrestling on its own is so overshadowed with a lot of the mainstream wrestling going on. It's nice to see that independent, in, uh, a lot of people say underground wrestling is coming more to light, and I think it just, once the promotion is a lot more, with wrestling a lot of independent wrestlers, you'll get a lot more people that actually want to come out and see the realness within Absolutely. wrestling, we kind of miss that. So right, I, let, I you know what, Fake, is he, you know, anytime well, no. a woman, <laughs> no, no, I gotta say it's because, because you are scaring this woman, she's a wrestler, but she's still a lady. Every time. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not messy. scared, of, I, I ain't never scared. I know you no. kick this in a minute, I know. please. This go is, ahead, brother, you want to speak? This is my time. Good. Up, now, <laughs> you are very attractive. Thank you. Now, when you meet a guy and you tell him what you do, Black do that to intimidate them or they start thinking that, hmm, she could spin up in the air. Maybe she could do things that I never saw before. Did that ever come into the What is picture? wrong with you? <laughs> I'm trying to take it to another level. No, Rel relationship. I, I, is it hard my meeting time. men, actually, knowing it's that they're a wrestler? The actually, certain professions most we guys can scare men. Mm -hmm. don't believe it before. until they Did see that, it. Oh. When, when do you, you show them, it? Uh, and when you tell oh. them that you're a wrestler, <laughs> they think, oh, wrestling as in oh as in pudding or wrestling as an oil or some type of stripper form of wrestling. Oh, oh, right. Like, no, yeah, come yeah. to the come to a BCW. I mean, oh. I can't tell them come to the BCW show October 28th oh, because there's a no women book. Uh, but Mizzle? come What's to a again? BCW show and then you're gonna uh -huh. see what I do. And I had guys that you know were friendly with me, and I tell them to come to the shows, and they're like, yo. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Mm. Like that, it's just all of all of the persona of wrestling. Rhoda, you, you're everybody big on pain. Expects one right. thing, I get another. I guess that's he do. Say, I'll make you a cake now. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I got enough one. cake. I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> and all uh, that. Like note. I said, <laughs> Faye, he's gonna be at your doorstep. He's gonna find your fit because he's gonna get put out. <laughs> I ain't got nowhere to go because of you. <laughs> yeah. Let me go back. Let me go back to Mizzle. Again, man, you, you just, you, you've, lit, you've lit this match and, and it's burnt like a, a Jason Pierre, Paul Firecracker. Mm. Um, <laughs> that was bad. Um, but uh, talk about the five-year plan. Where do you see BCW going? You, you're off to a great start. You got some great team. Got a great staff already in place. Where do you see the, the future? How the future is oh, going? Oh, man. Uh, the future is looking very bright. I mean, BCW is going to be one of the only independent wrestling companies that doesn't only do wrestling. They're going to incorporate my fashion line. They're going to incorporate the music. You know, on this December 28th show, like I said, I got an artist coming out, coming out doing an intermission. I actually just had a big interview with DJ Khaled. I'm so busy. You know, they're, 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 they're not the so I'm going to be known. Just take it to the next level. I want BCW to be known for being unique, bringing you classic matches. I want it to be to the point where I'm not even going to introduce and announce who's doing my halftime show, but people are going to look so forward to that halftime show. It doesn't matter who's on it. They're going to come anyway. So, you know, within the next five years, I see BCW being mentioned the name amongst the names like Ring of Honor, TNA, NXT, things like that. Kev, you know me. If mm -hmm. I'm going to do it, I'm doing it all the way. There's no, like, partial. Right. 
you know, I, I got to take a good time. Well, I'm, I'm so glad to be a part of the, the BCW Philanthropy Collaboration. Um, not just, we're talking about doing promotion here and having this be a portal and at your events. I mean, so w we're excited about it, you know, because, oh, yeah. again, I mean, we were all, you know, when we last many, many moons ago and we weren't doing this, we'd all be sitting in our underwear watching, right. eating cereal, watching uh, uh -huh. wrestling. <laughs> and now, obviously, to be a part of it, and we're going to bring two guys up. I think we got, what, uh, Maxwell and, and, and Sebastian next, right? Oh, yeah. That's what we got next. So, you know, I know there's a little issue going on with those guys, so they're going to sell it right here on the 950 Lounge Show. I, I love it. Looking forward to it, man. Those two gentlemen are, they're the future. Yeah. Like, when I see these guys go at it, when I see their matches, I just say to myself, wow, that takes real dedication to do what these guys do. You know? mm -hmm. Mike, before we end the segment, where can people find more information about Dangerous Intentions, information about BCW, where can they reach you guys at? Uh, you can reach us on Facebook at Breeze Combination Wrestling LLC. You can reach us on Twitter at Breeze Combination Wrestling. You can reach us on Instagram at Breeze Combination Wrestling LLC as well. Faye, I know you have a show tonight, so I thank you for you know yeah. before you come before you get ready to get in character and do what you do. You came in and started the day. Where can people reach out to you and find you more information about? Um, uh, my Facebook. You can search either Faye Elise, mm -hmm. which Elise is spelled with an E E L I S E, or Faye Jackson. That's my I'm last sorry, name. Ms. Jackson. Yes, that's the last name. So that's what I go by, <laughs> Faye Jackson. I'm do that right Instagram, now. you can find me at Faye Jackson four one nine. And we'll be looking for you, and we'll be seeing you soon. I'm sure uh, Mizzle, you don't don't mess up the next event with uh, Faye because she might put you in the Rikishi. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, the, the women's match uh, is definitely coming back December 16th. You're gonna Sapphire and, and, and oh. Faye. I think I love it. Right, right there. Let's do it right now. Let's sign it right, sign <laughs> it right tag, now. No, wait, wait, wait. I would tag uh, with her. Uh, let's tag do that. Right? I would. I would actually <laughs> tag with her. She's trying to Faye find ways to get here, on. Please. She's trying to find ways to get on medical leave anyway, so this might do it. Um, so. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I'm hey, that is not. This is all, it's wrestling, guys. It's wrestling. This is not real, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break. Thanks, Mike, for coming up today. Faith, thank you so much. Thank take you a quick break. Me. We're gonna keep it going. It's a BCW takeover. Nasty last. Time.